In terms of Google's small flagship efforts, those days seem to have died with the Pixel 4. The Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro were polarizing phones for many, in part because of the physical size that these devices actually bring to the table. But according to a new rumor though, Google might be working on a small screen flagship Pixel phone, not to be confused with the A series, and we need to discuss it before we all get our hopes up too high. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So here's a short story. A new rumor, courtesy of Chinese leaker Digital Chat Station over on Chinese network site Weibo, suggests that Google is working on, and you'll have to forgive the translation here, a small screen flagship machine. That fits into the company's smartphone lineups. That's the most interesting tidbit here. Given that Digital Chat Station also has a very solid track record, this isn't just a run of the mill throwaway comment from a random person on the internet here either. What's more, this device would have a centered hole punch design on the front and a family style look on the back, presumably to match the look of whatever pixel generation it might actually be planned for. So this is all still a rumor after all, and there's no mention of release date or even potential release timeframe or even that it's in production. All that was shared was the surrounding information and the proposed device codename, which is Nailer. That codename is a red flag in and of itself as well, because the reason, well, Nailer doesn't actually fit into Google's usual codename patterns. For example, the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 series use codenames based upon birds and cats. Prior to that, it was aquatic animals, as you may remember. Nailer is not even an animal at all. And I even first misread or even mispronounced this when I heard about this wrongly of Nala from The Lion King, thinking it may have a little bit of credence there, but obviously it doesn't. At least at this stage, Stage, we have no evidence or have seen no evidence of this smaller pixel, but you may remember that we actually spotted a potential pixel ultra light device within the AOSP code base. That phone, or at least the evidence of that phone, suggests it will have a similar display size to that of the Pixel 6 Pro and the upcoming Pixel 7 Pro, which does eliminate a potential small phone here. So we're saying that we have yet to see any real evidence of this possible mini pixel in our own searches, but that doesn't mean it doesn't or won't exist in future. In actual fact, we'd love to see a tiny tensor powered smartphone under that definitely not small six inch screen size threshold that Google seems to have pinned its future state smartphones upon. However, a bigger question entirely though is that is the market interested or is there a desire for small form factor flagship devices? I'm not talking about you or me, I'm, as many of us out here do want to see small, powerful Android phones. I'm talking about the average Joe in the street, someone who upgrades their phone every few years and likely picks the most prominent or the most obvious phone in store or online and pays on a regular monthly contract. I'm sure some of you still do that too and think most tech journalists are out of touch, which is probably another video entirely, but it does remain to be seen if people are interested. Think about it for a second. If Apple, which alongside Samsung is the biggest smartphone maker on the planet, can't seem to make the iPhone mini work in their own product lineups, which sell like hotcakes, at least in terms of the sales of that particular device within that lineup as well, then we're not sure why Google would think they could succeed where Cupertino has failed. At the moment, the Pixel 6a is actually the smallest phone that you can go out and buy in Google's current lineup, and it far exceeds the smallest currently supported device, which is the Pixel 4a. The Pixel 6a is still big with a 6.1 inch screen, although it is marginally smaller and more pocketable than the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. And while it does have Google's best processor, it isn't quite as strong in all of its departments the camera being a prominent area. And also there's just a few premium features like wireless charging and a, a true IP68 rating not included. Would a smaller, more feature rich device be viable in, team, in terms of sheer size as well? Well, that's a question that we can't specifically answer. There's only so much hardware you can pack into a small frame. So certain sacrifices are often made or might have to be made regardless of whether this nailer device is pitched as a high end phone or otherwise. Just having a small phone in the Pixel lineup again might be enough for some people out there to get very excited as there are not really that many great options to speak of, save maybe the Asus Zenfone line, which do offer flagship specifications and smaller packages to boot. Could we see this happening though? Well, 
We're not necessarily convinced, at least at this stage, but I'm really, really itching to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of a, a potential flagship sub six inch pixel with all of the bells and whistles down in the comment sections below. It's a very interesting subject. And it's one of those things that really doesn't get talked about, at least in tech. We just kind of seem to be ballooning towards these huge mega phablets, a phrase that hasn't been used for a long time, but it is interesting all the same. Until next time though, this is Damien with 95Google and I will speak to you later.